this is Paul, this is a forgery, and I want all the forgeries <laughs> of every employee of the court removed. <laughs> we cannot have the forgeries of ex-official superior court clerks. <laughs> we can't have forgeries of court commissioners. <laughs> now, Brent's probably thinking about his golden apples. <laughs> when they told you that you had to have a look-alike because this is the way that we're going, Brent, <laughs> And you got a you got appointed from the governor of the state of Washington to be a superior court judge. You know, you know if I'm right because I think I'm eighty percent right. Yes, that this is an actual forgery. You know, I'm going to put you and your dog in prison, pooch, because the last thing we can have is forgeries of actual judges of the United States. Um, see, somebody convinced you. Yes that this was the way that we were going to go. Yes. And all the very important individuals in the judiciary were all going to have a look-alike. Yes. And then you were going to give them the authority of the courts. Yes. Now, Judge Landis, yeah, it's not possible that she has a look-alike, does she? Yeah. Because every document signed by any look-alike employee, yes, that was not, <laughs> well, Judge Landis would go to prison, as would her dog. <clears throat> now, my public defender didn't have a look-alike, did he, Jack? Yes. It wasn't your dog representing me in court of law. Oh. <laughs> we can never, ever have any individual look like yes, any employee of any court, <laughs> any employee of any law enforcement, yes, or any of the employees of any form of government. <laughs> now, I'll give you an example. Yes. This is a forgery. Yeah. I put a screen print of it in this email so that you could see it. Yeah, that is not the actual signature. <laughs> now, you would say the ends justify the means, right? <laughs> that you had to violate the laws. Yes, because the lookalike of Christy Miller had to get paid for the show. Yes, and in her actress brain, the mind that says, well, this is the way we're going to do it in this county. <clears throat> I said that we can never, ever have any forgeries of Oh, we cannot have forgeries of any employee <clears throat> of any form of government. <clears throat> now, <laughs> I've given you this for three and a half years. <laughs> you said, well, <laughs> this is Brent's signature. Right. He's a Superior Court judge. <laughs> and this is Brent's lookalikes uh -huh, forgery <laughs> because he had to get paid for the show and come to find out they were having sex with each other or through each other <clears throat> because you all had to come the money. <clears throat> now, let's look at Judge Landis <clears throat> right now. <clears throat> I find out that Judge Landis, <laughs> I won't let her out of prison. <laughs> I'm sorry, Judge. <laughs> I'm going to expose the whole thing. And <laughs> you might be in your mid-60s, <laughs> but my thought is you can spend the rest of your life in prison for being involved in anything <laughs> that would have corrupted yes, that very noble cause known as the <laughs> legal profession yes, of using forgeries of judges that are not the actual individual. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, <laughs> but I'm one of those mean individuals. <laughs> All of a sudden, you, you are, are you using descriptive adjectives? <laughs> I'm an old mean. <laughs> I'm, I, I am unattractive. <laughs> are you pointing out that the size of my nose increases? <laughs> you know, I've heard that as you age as a man. <laughs> I get an increase of hair in my in my ears. Yes. Have you ever seen very old men? They have hairs on their nose. Yes, they do. They have an increase of hair on their back. <laughs> and then there's the whole idea of the, the size of my actual genitals. For those that have testicles, you need to... 